Bamama zenero wazi zomo yomjo noti wange baba banzi njamuidia. I wish there was a way to take each of you to the campus of Holy Cross Lakeview in Jinja, Uganda. This little school is a gem. Consistently outperforms bigger and better equipped schools. The campus itself isn't much to look at, but the charm and beauty of the school is really found in the students and the teachers and administrators. I'd like to be an educator someday, majoring in agriculture and a religious person. In life, I always dream of doing medicine. I love biology, physics, and mathematics. Father Moreau, our founder, told us that wherever we go, we should give our best, not to ourselves, but to the poor children who most deserve what we can offer. This school that we began in 1993 was founded to help the poor students of Jinja who couldn't otherwise afford a secondary school education. One Sunday, Father Bob and Brother Paul started talking about starting a secondary school in the Wanyange area because it's, this is a very poor area. So I said, oh, that's a wonderful idea. And then they said, we want you <laughs> to be the headmistress. The school was started by the donations of people around here. So people from the very beginning felt this was their school. We recognized that we were not here for ourselves. We were here to do the ministry we were sent for, and we became a part of that. The school, unfortunately, though, was built on bedrock. And even though Jesus said to build your house on rock, it doesn't help when you have pit latrines and they can't drain because of bedrock. Basically the problem came about when the girls' dormitory was built. Down there we don't dispose of our waste so well. The places of convenience are not really good. They, they have to bathe, they have to shower morning, evening and all that. So there's a lot of water around. Yeah. Sometimes there's a problem because of the rains. Mm -hmm. When it rains heavily, mm -hmm. the water from the roof, from the neighborhood, mm -hmm. also floods around and creates a problem. We've almost had to close the school a few times by order of the local city council. Our community bought a parcel of land not far from the current campus a few years ago which doesn't have these issues, but now we have to rebuild the entire campus. This campus will be able to accommodate roughly 2,000 boarding students, boys and girls. We built a boys dormitory and now we wish to raise funds for a girls dormitory. The spirit is willing, but the shillings are weak. The shillings are weak? <laughs> <laughs> to run the school, it all comes from school fees. Huh? What we are looking for, for help to build a new building that does not come from school fee. Now most of you will never meet the young women who will live in this new dormitory, but I assure you with your contribution that you'll provide the kind of safe, secure, beautiful dwelling for them to live in that will help them pursue their dreams for the future. I, I think Lakeview can be one of the best schools in the whole country. Today I stand as a young and youthful Christian because Holy Cross Lake will give me that ground. So I urge all of you to help us as Holy Cross in East Africa to continue our legacy as educators in the faith and to help these students of Lakeview have a new campus. We pray that God blesses you more and more as you do for us. Thank you. Thank you.